Bioshock 2 is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Steven Plays Bioshock 2. On the last episode, stuff's happening every time, man. Every single episode we're making big strides. Uh, we got to meet Tenabom face to face. And then we got to hold off a bunch of splicers, but we had just been given a new item, the uh, the trap rivet. Uh, we can actually set traps now, which is fantastic. Um, we're surviving, which is the important thing, so I'm going to continue to do what I can to, well, survive. Starting by hacking this. Uh, let's see what we're given. A free Eve hypo, that's very nice. There's some more stuff in here, but... Mm, we're pretty good. We've got plenty of drill fuel. we got plenty of rivets. It's not letting us buy um, trap rivets. We're down to just five of those, but uh, I think we'll be fine. I, th I think right now, we just had a big section where we had to fight a lot of guys. They're probably not going to be throwing a whole lot of guys our way in the immediate future. If anything, there could be some good supplies around. Sophia Lamb has taken the rapture, and is responsible for stealing children from the surface. Her splicers destroyed my submersible and forced me to run. But the ticket booth here is secure, and though I cannot trust him, Sinclair is a valuable ally. I have already rescued a few of the new little ones from Lamb. They all want to know how we will get home. I wish I had the right words for them. What do we got here? Bandages? Yeah, I don't need those. On to the train. Alright, start that train, baby! Choo-choo! Please don't be a terrible trick. That would be, well, by definition, terrible. Better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. I'm surprised the train even runs, to be honest. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. All right, get a ticket. Yeah, this is really interesting. Like, there's a lot... I'm, I'm having to go back and get a lot of the things I had in Bioshock 1, but it's also been eight years uh, since the events of that game. Okay, this doesn't... Know. I was going to say, what's in here? And it's like, don't worry about it. I'm like, can I worry about it? It's like, no, don't. Don't worry about it. Cannot carry more rivets. What about this steamer trunk? You can have five dollars. Can I have more than five dollars? No. Six dollars? No, five dollars. Okay. All right, I'm ready for whatever is thrown thrown at me here. We are but the stones to pave the way. We've seen that message before. By the chamber, which is really nice. There's a coffee, canned beans, more rivets, which I can't pick up. Uh, luggage. I can eat a cream-filled cake. Oh boy. Atlantic Express. She is our salvation. Kind of a lofty claim. All right, I'm up to maximum first aid kits right now. Eleanor is progressing brilliantly. My physical participation in her birth was minimized, of course. It is vital that I am unhindered by nature's crude bias. I will be, above all, her intellectual progenitor. Loyal not to her, but to the people she will ultimately save. But I admit, it is with some measure of pride that I review her marks in standard intelligence tests. As an agent of our beliefs, she may surpass even me. Man, she's creepy. I mean, we knew that, but like, man, she's creepy. I can't get any of this stuff until I get incinerate. But that's fine. Let's go ahead and hack this. Ooh, there's red. Uh, free hypo. Yes, please. 
Uh, probably, again, not anything I'm going to need right now, but it's nice that this is hacked for future use. Also, it looks like there was just the one splicer who I, who I dealt with while I was listening to a diary. Can't get into any of these. Just about full on supplies, actually, so... Feeling good, but that's... Generally, when you're feeling good, when your supplies are full, that's, that's about the time when um, bad things happen. We'll get over here. Ryan Amusements. Insert your ticket now. Half price for children under three. Huh. So, we're gonna have to get a ticket to even get in in the first place. The cash register full of money. Dala dollar 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 dollar. Security wing. You're a rare old model, son. Alpha series, I believe. Now Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. Huh. So Sinclair. He's on our side, but he wants to make a buck. Which makes me a little leery, but okay. Security inventory. Um. Can, hold on. I, I have some questions about that. Like, can I break open that glass? I don't know, power to the people, Fontaine, weapon upgrade station. Upgrade your weapons. That's okay. So this does still exist. Good. Um, that being said, okay. All right. I was just curious. See if it was possible. Let's see uh, what the weapon upgrade station does. Select an upgrade. This machine will be disabled. So this is one-time use. We only get to upgrade it once. Cooling nozzles lubricate the drill, reducing the speed of fuel consumption. Uh, augers on the sides of the drill increase the damage. Damage increase implies to both drill spin and melee attacks. It's pretty nice. Rivet gun uh, damage increase. A higher pressure firing mechanism provides greater penetration and damage. And then the clip size. 50% uh, more shots before reloading. Okay, so we'd be able to have 24 shots. Oh, God. Um, the most interesting thing to me what's the other ones we can't have you must have both previous upgrades before this and this is deflector upgrade so we might these might be worth checking out because we might want to work up into these a large electromagnetic dynamo is powered by the drill's rotation incoming projectiles will be reflected back at the detectors while the drill is spinning that seems hard to use dang huh and then rivet gun heat upgrade um an internal heating mechanism heats rivets to a white hot temperature before they are fired. May ignite living creatures on repeated shots. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm going to be honest. Like, I, I, I've really enjoyed using the drill. Um, but I also feel like if I if the rivet gun did more damage, I would probably use the rivet gun? Huh. Um... And, like, this sounds cool, but, God, it seems hard to use. This seems more easy to use. Uh, I'm going to go for the damage increase. All right, so I now do more damage with the rivet gun. Hopefully that wasn't a mistake. Uh, let's see here. I mean, it's not a mistake. You know, obviously, it's not a mistake. You can you can play the game however you want. Um, I'm just wondering how soon we're going to find the next upgrade station. Maybe they'll show up pretty frequently? I don't know. It sucks because there's clearly a weapon in there, but I cannot get to it. At least that I know of. Darn it. Alright, gonna continue moving forward. There's part of me that wonders, you know, maybe if I took the, the damage upgrade, could I have bashed my way through that? I don't know. Hard to tell, but I've made my decision, and I'm not going back. Am I safe in here? Fairly safe. The old sheepdog. I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. 
This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. I get that feel. Door control. Oh god, that... There we go. Alright, door's unlocked. Where angels fall, the roses grow tall. Yeah, something tells me I'm not going to be on good terms with the fellow big daddies. Which is a real shame. We should be bros, man. We should hang out on the weekends. Get a drink. But no, that's that's definitely not going to happen. I'm just going to be running from them. Jim Dandy. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's going to cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Noted. Where are you? What's that? Cool, so that's how I get it. Machine gun with 50 cal rounds. Neat. Press and hold uh, something to display the, the radius. Instead, I'll just get real familiar with the um, with the buttons here. Uh, 50 cal rounds. Cool, that is certainly better than my rivet gun. And I bet you now this thing would would offer me... Upgrades for the machine. Well, whatever. It's too late now, man. I chose. I chose the rivet gun. Rivet gun damage. I might regret that as I play further, and I'm like, oh god, this is a garbage weapon. Get in. No fuck up this time. Sounds like there's a guy on the other side of this door. <laughs> Daddy's home. Take aim. Fire. We can't Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'll not be toyed with. Hey, They're pretty smart. Um, I was trying to like lure them. But they uh they don't they don't play that game. Oh don't worry, darling. They'll be back. I know. Maybe that, maybe that drill spin would be useful, cause like if, cause, you, cause like you can just push forward. Oh God, the drills run out of fuel. Well, crap. So it can happen. Thy will be done. Six hundred. You got riveted, buddy. Oh, okay. Well, um, hmm. This is, uh, this is just one of those examples where, you know, you have to continue to explore. You have to continue to look for every little extra little thing that you can get. Because you need it, quite frankly. Like, you need it to survive. I inherited all of this! Don't you understand? Drat! Blasted! Thank God you had a melee weapon. You were an easy kill. I'm gonna eat all the crap that was laying around before. And hopefully not get too drunk in the process, but I have the ticket now, which is good. Um, I already hacked that, but I really don't need anything additional. Uh, drill fuel would be good. Um, but again, I can just keep switching between the weapons that I'm using in the meantime. So I'm gonna use the rivet gun for a while. If I run out of ammo for that, I can, I can use the, uh, the other things available to me. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not worried about anything. Well, not much. Journey to the surface. I am Andrew Ryan. Welcome to Ryan Amusements. Please enjoy the park. Sports boost. Picked up your first gene tonic. Tonics are passive abilities that have a variety of helpful effects. Unlike plasmids, you never have to activate them. They take effect as soon as you equip them. Sports boost. In today's dangerous times, it never hurts to be a little faster. Remember, you don't have to outrun the crazed splicer, just your neighbor. You move slightly faster. So I've got four. 
I do move slightly faster. Oh, thank God. I, I, I felt like I was really slow, so this is helpful. Let's see, you are here. It doesn't say that, but... Park security? Is that what that is? Hall of the Future, souvenirs. It identifies that I'm not staff, but I might be able to get in there at some point. Um, all right, cool. Metro lobby. By the chamber. Dreaming Rapture. Andrew Ryan wakes one night while cruising the Atlantic in his steamliner, the Olympian. His sleep interrupted with a singular purpose. Here, he shouts to his crewmen as he wipes sleep from his eyes. Full stop. We begin building here. How beautiful. It's a little audio tour that tells you the history. Well, obviously through the eyes of Andrew Ryan. Refitted for heavy construction, the Olympian returns with a new cargo. A state-of-the-art submersible platform, nicknamed the Sinker, ferries supplies and workers to the sea floor, fathoms below. Neat. I'm worried that... When I walk over here, I'm going to get ambushed while I'm trying to listen to the very cool audio tour. Hopefully that won't happen. After initial supplies have been brought to the seafloor, the platform is permanently moored in the sediment. Massive iron girders are sunk hundreds of feet into the rock and silt. Below the platform, engineers work to overcome obstacles such as diamond-hard rock, obstinate sea life, and unexpected coverage. Good job, Andrew Ryan. You did the, the best. The best ever. Volunteer. I love the kids in Ms. Englert's third grade class, but boy, I had no idea what I was getting into. Volunteering to chaperone this New Year's sleepover party at Ryan Amusement. Donnie? Donnie, get down off that exhibit, and I told you, spit out that gum! You'll choke! <sighs> The kids' parents deserve a night off to enjoy New Year's, but I'm at my wit's end. Donnie, I told you! Looks like there's at least one more exhibit here. After the platform is secured, work progresses at an astounding rate. Designed to be the foundation of Rapture, workers toil around the clock to create the metropolis you see today. This one, unfortunately, was destroyed. No audio tour from there. Uh, gift shop. <laughs> You're kind and welcome here. <laughs> Honestly, fire quickly is what I'm gathering. Fire quickly and kill them fast. And get them dollars. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. No <laughs> Gotcha! Yeah, it's so hard to tell from a distance whether they're holding a uh, melee weapon or a... <laughs> or a gun. Because if they have a melee weapon, I'm not really that frightened. If they got a gun, I'm like, oh god, a gun. Let's see what else is in here. Looks good here. Huh. Oh lord. Cool. Uh, get additional cash with the blue bonus. Uh, let's see what's inside. Trap rivets. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. An anti-personnel round, which I assume is for yes. Do extra damage against unarmored targets. Let's try them out, shall we? We're good. Very powerful weapon. Um, Anti-personnel, but it's not extremely accurate. It seems like the rivet gun, maybe I'm imagining it, but it seems like the rivet gun kind of homes in a little bit. This doesn't. This definitely doesn't, so uh, something to keep in mind. Cutting corners. Used to be there was no margin in running the gift shop. 
I couldn't hardly sell off this tourist crap for a penny more than the cost of manufacture. Then I met a straight shooter named Sinclair, and he laid a sweet deal on me. Says he's got some hard luck folks down at Popper's Drop can whip up this junk at half the cost I used to pay. Yeah, I had to pick a needle or two out of the shipments, but all in all, nobody's the wiser, and I'm all the richer. Okay, so it sounds like uh, Sinclair is, I mean, he's all about that money. And uh, he knows the right people to, to make the money happen. This goes down further. Um, still got plenty of rivets. I got trap rivets now from hacking. Man, if you can hack this, you gotta hack the stuff. You gotta, you gotta hack the stuff. You're gonna get so many uh, benefits from it. Oh, that removes Eve. I don't want to do that. Let's see if there's anything up here. Fortune teller. Believe me when I tell you, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Is this the exact same fortune teller from the first game? So, you think you're getting out of here? I have so much money, but also I, I remember wasting so much money on the fortune machine in the first game. Look at the bright side. Maybe it'll be quick and painless. It's so sad. Uh, all right, uh, moving on into the next area with the rivet gun. Uh, there's a bathroom. Close quarters. I don't have much drill fuel, but I can do uh, melee attacks. I hear an, heard a woman crying. like I thought it would. <laughs> Son of a gun. I I, I knew as soon as the, this was open and she wasn't in here, I was like, she's going to walk up behind me. Stinking piece of crap. Because I heard, that's, they're so, the game is so, when it comes to like the audio, right? The sound design, the, the, the game is so good. And it's, if you pay attention, you're listening closely, you will learn a lot about your surroundings and what you can expect, too. I almost thought there was a camera in here, but I think I'm good. 50 cal rounds. Another health kit. Heavy rivet. Ah. I know the surface, Eleanor. I spent half a lifetime there in service of the common good. But then, I heard my own words twisted by fat old men squatting over the embers of Hiroshima. Were the modern world a patient in my care, I would diagnose it suicidal. On perhaps that point alone, Andrew Ryan is correct. Rapture is deliverance. Each of us has a moral duty to increase the common joy. And, and ease the common, common pain. pain. Alone, we are we nothing. nothing. Mere engines, engines of self-interest. Self Together, home, we are the family. family. And through family. unity, How we I transcend one the night self. In a warm, clean bed. Is that too much to ask? Where did you come from? No, you also, crouching totally works. I take back everything I said. Crouch forever, baby. If you if you got a need, crouch, crouch. You should always crouch. Crouching for life. Just put put me in the in the camp that thinks that crouching is great. Oh, what the piss? Where where did was this always here? How did I miss this? Let's hack this son of a gun. Oh God. I was gonna say, I hit the blue one. Did I get a free thing? I did! Trap rivets! Um, and now I have so much different ammo available to me. Drill fuel, rivets, trap rivets, heavy rivets, uh, 50 cal, anti-personnel rounds, remote hack dart. So, I have a ton of money. Should probably buy some stuff, but I, I kind of feel like I'm just gonna hold off and see 
um, where I'm going to get. Uh, I haven't really needed to spend too much yet. I know that day's coming soon. I know soon it's going to be like, okay, if you don't spend money, you're going to die. But um, I've got a lot of supply. i got five health kits and four Eve Hypo. I've got a lot of ammo. I'm feeling pretty good about things right now. And this is also a good place to end the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more Steven Plays Bioshock 2. How about one more fortune to let people go on their way? Believe me when I tell you, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Well, uh, that's... That's beautiful, thank you.